मुंबई का गुंडा शी टॉक्स टू मच आई कैन डू एनीथिंग फॉर करेक्ट नॉट लिविंग इन मुंबई राइट नाउ मुंबई का गुंडा क्लास टू मैथ टीचर बिरयानी एंड स्टेक एनी बिरयानी आई थिंक मटन बिरयानी इज वॉट आई लाइक टू मेक एंड या स्टेक चिकन स्टेक्स कीप इट सिंपल शी टॉक्स टू मच um the the fact that i can uh actually listen to someone is one thing i like about myself hear them out and the thing that i don't like about myself is sometimes i can completely eradicate your presence when i want to and that's i think sometimes very insulting to someone um i love the fact that you can be uh in today's world of entertainment industry i think you can be very real uh even in your performances which is a lovely thing uh finally but i also hate the fact that you cannot be a shahrukh khan anymore i wish that that space also is there sometimes the difficult phase of my life was when i had moved uh to mumbai initially because that was the first time that uh, life had taken away all the luxuries of my life uh, it happens so organic it happens so that uh, my dad had lost his job at that point so that was the first time i did, I, i understood what not having money is uh, and that was the first time i was away from my house away from everything that was comfortable for me everything that made me uh, feel nice about myself i was taken away and that was a little difficult to understand to un- to grasp but today if i look back at it i think that that was the thing that gave me a learning of what life can be ahead because if that didn't happen then i wouldn't have been so uh, strong i wouldn't have been someone who understood the reality of life happiest moment of my life a lot of them yaar i can't say for, for, for example i can't say one my first show uh, my first day in mumbai uh my first photo shoot my first day being on a set uh my first scene that i got right you know uh, because there was initially you didn't know how to play characters in it when when i went on the scene I, i i was selected i went on set and i didn't know what to do so that was a bad space but when i actually got one scene right that happiness of coming back home and sleeping so well that night was was one of the happiest days of my life then again the second show and then things keep moving on like that so i think every few days every few hours you get that happiest moment of my life that i've done everything that i've done on my own to move on yeah Did it someone else without actually? That is the most I think uh, cliche, typical thing to do. There's nothing as such. I can do anything for a guy because it's. Uh, if I have to give an explanation, each one has a psyche of their own. A person can go to any extent. A human being can go to any extent for his own satisfaction. So I think if a character justifies that I have to do a certain thing. then i can do it certain thing because the character justifies it don't drop out of cricket biryani my favorite actor is uh, johnny depp hands down johnny depp uh actress today i I'd, i'd say alia bhat is a big Uh, wonderful something very wonderful about her uh, madhuri dikshit for a long time because i love her and i think she's so gorgeous even till today sonali bendre was one of my favorite at some point uh sushmita sen was scarlett johansson is 
still my favorite in a lot of ways. So yeah, Pillow Cruise. Oh, wow, she's so beautiful. Doing good work, yeah, that's all. Just, just doing good, real good work. And I don't have a set target. I rather keep it very simple, like I've told you. My title should be. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it very simple and say that I just want to keep doing good work. Personally, in a bigger house right now. I do. I think if it happens organically, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, it shouldn't be forced. Uh, it shouldn't be. A, I don't believe in arranged marriages. I believe, and especially I think in the kind of in the career that I have chosen for myself, if I get in an arranged arranged marriage, then it will be very difficult for both of us to adjust. She has to understand exactly how my life works, and I'll have to understand how her life works, and we'll have to come to a camaraderie between. The stereotype, and uh, one thing I would like to actually uh, bring into awareness is on the name of equality. There is a lot of uh, upper hand going on right now in terms of whatever we are going through as equality. I think equality matter is is more than what we know about it right now. People understand it a little differently. uh you start to believe you have an upper hand on something because you say equality has come into place but that is not how it is equality is giving both <laughs> communities the right amount of equal rights to function and let go of, uh, and, and talk about what you feel and i think if we are living in a country of democracy freedom of speech should be our criteria and let anybody uh, say whatever they 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 do uh acting on it or not acting on it should be on your hands and but letting someone speak should be a very big priority zindagi zindabad i think i'm happy i'm grateful for the life that i've got uh, for my parents no regrets i have no regrets whatsoever to be on very honest that's what uh, i think everything that you go through in your life is a learning If you do have something that has gone wrong, then you learn from it. Or uh, if something has gone right, you win from it. You don't lose, so there's no regrets.